Speaking of quarterbacks, uh, Caleb Williams, the Bears are on the clock. They need a quarterback, and Caleb Williams is right there. Robert Griffin III, former NFL quarterback, had this to say about what Caleb Williams should do. Caleb Williams should pull a Eli Manning and demand that the Chicago Bears do not draft him number one overall. After everything that's happened with just Justin Fields, can Caleb Williams really look at that and say, you know what, this is the organization that has my best interest at heart and they're going to help develop me into the player that I want to become. After the Bears took Justin Fields, the 11th pick in the draft, and turned him into a sixth round pick in the 2025 draft by trading him to the Pittsburgh Steelers? Can Caleb Williams really look at that and say, you know what? Yeah, this organization is going to help get me where I want to go. I don't think it's saying that. Yes, I do think him going back to Washington, where he's from, he's a D.C. kid. I think that's the best spot for him. But he has to answer that question. Okay. I don't know if I truly believe that Robert Griffin III believes what he's saying. Eli Manning and John Elway did benefit by not going to the teams that were drafting them. Elway said to the Colts, I'm not going here. I'll go play baseball. Eli and his father, Archie, uh, were telling the uh, Chargers that don't draft him. And then they drafted him. Then, you know, they traded him. But they ended up winning Super Bowls. You know, Eli got two Super Bowls. John got a couple of Super Bowls it well as well. It did work out. Now, here's where I would push back on Robert Griffin, who will join us on the program tomorrow. Chicago learned their lesson with Justin Fields. I mean, it, they didn't handle it well. They didn't surround him with talent. They didn't go out and get, you know, free agent wide receivers or trade for somebody. Now, all of a sudden, you get a new GM in there who I think, by all accounts, did a pretty good job this offseason. Could they have gotten more for Justin Fields? Yes, I believe they could have. Uh, I wouldn't have had a problem holding on to him. And maybe during the season, prior to the start of the season, somebody's quarterback gets injured. Maybe the teams who are looking for quarterbacks in the draft don't get their quarterback. I think you could have gotten more for him. But they also did right by Justin Fields because they had, I think, four or five other offers, and they sent him to where Justin Fields wants to go. He wanted to go to Pittsburgh. So he did right by them. If I'm Caleb Williams, let me look at this, okay? They strengthened their offensive line. Now I have a couple of legitimate wide receivers that I can throw to. I have a good tight end, and I got a good running back. Okay. That's more than Justin Fields had. And they did right by Justin Fields, and Ryan Poles, the GM, said, we will do right by him. That doesn't sound like dysfunction. Uh, look, I'm not all in on your uh, head coach, and that's tricky because, you know, he might be done after this year. Now you bring in somebody else with different assistants. That, that would be what would scare me if I'm Caleb Williams. The bar is not very high to be a good quarterback in Chicago. You're already going to walk in, and chances are you're going to be better right away than Justin Fields or Mitchell Trubisky. Trubisky at least took him to the playoffs a couple of times. You know, they don't have a great history of drafting quarterbacks. But I can only go by this GM right now and what he's done, and it feels like he's done a pretty good job. And they did right by Justin Fields by sending him to Pittsburgh. They didn't do right by him in what they put out there with him. You know, wasn't a good offensive line. He ended up running more than he probably should have. I don't think he ever really developed any kind of pocket presence there, but he was probably running for his life. I think that they've, they understand this now with Caleb Williams. And I think Chicago makes a lot of sense. Now, would I rather go to Washington? Yeah, if I'm from there, I understand that. But if, if he would do that, I just think the backlash with social media, you know, when Eli did it, I and mean, Eli had to wear that for a while. And Elway, oh, spoiled brat. Oh, you know, he's going to tell a team. Now, that was back in 83. You weren't doing that back then. And I think that's... You know, then Eli did it, and it's like, oh, okay, you think you're Peyton? Oh, your dad has to come in and help you? Like, that was sort of the feel there. With Caleb, we've already heard that his dad gets involved. Uh, you know, does he feel like he's bigger than the team? Was, was it that way with USC? Uh, just, it felt like social media wasn't his best friend. And then if you do this, now all of a sudden, you want to go to Washington? Um, you know, 
as long as you can handle the backlash. I mean, Eli kind of non-plus, nothing bothers him. Elway, it probably bothered him, but he didn't want to go play for the Colts. He didn't like the organization. Eli didn't want to play for the Chargers, didn't like the organization, or his dad didn't. They ended up benefiting. So Caleb wants to play in his hometown. Okay. But I think Chicago has done and will do right by Caleb Williams, at least this year, going in there. Yeah, Paul? I I think you're 100% right that in this era with social media and commentators, the backlash against Caleb Williams if he pulled this move, which there's been no reports. It's just, you know, a thought. What You know what? People already dislike him already. People think he's a prima donna NIL beneficiary. He's uh, spoiled. There's a lot of people out there, even Bears fans, who think that of this kid already. He might as well make the move then. You know what I mean? Like if he's going to be labeled selfish, me first, wanting part of a franchise, there's mixed reports that, about him. Why not just... Well, you can't have a piece of the franchise. Right. That, that's a fa- false report. That's silly. You, you can't have a piece of the... <laughs> but I guess what I'm saying is like if he's already got that label on him... M- Pull, then you could pull the move because it's got it's coming towards you anyway. I think the Bears have done right by him. Uh, I, I can't say that very often with the Bears doing it doing it correctly or doing right by a player. But what they didn't do for Justin Fields, it feels like they've learned from that, and they will surround Caleb Williams. Why would you do? You know, this drives me crazy. And I've been I railed on the Colts for years of what they didn't do for Andrew Luck. And I said, you'll drive him out of the game earlier than expected because you haven't, you know, the offensive line and he got beat up. And that's when your confidence goes. That's where your love for the game goes. And I think if you're drafting Caleb Williams, then draft him and and surround him so he can be great. If that means you give up something on defense that helps you on offense, then do that. Because it's so important if that's that's your franchise right there. Make him great. Help him be great. Don't go, hey, you know, good luck out there. If there's a reason why we're picking number one. Go out there and try to make some magic happen. You know, I don't care how good you are. You must have the talent around you. I say this all the time about Mahomes. As great as he is, if I put him on Carolina, you wouldn't care. Because he wouldn't be able to be great. He wouldn't play in big games. You would see talent. But I want to see if you have the weapons, what do you do with them? And uh, look, I'm bullish on Justin Fields. I still think that he can play at a high level in the NFL. I do. I just think you got to have the right coaching, consistency with your offensive coordinator. And you have weapons. Yes, Mark? How many games do the Bears need to win for Eberflus? Eberflus, easy to say to keep his job since they won seven games last year. Oh, I have no idea. I mean, I don't know what, if if it's win 10, make the playoffs. Is Caleb Williams starting the season? I have no idea. I'm surprised they brought him back because now if you fire him, now you got to bring in a new coach and then you bring in new assistants and then you might bring in a new system. Like it, it, that's always dangerous. That's tricky. No. And you had a GM who didn't draft Justin Fields. So there was no allegiance with Ryan Poles and Justin Fields. He's like, yeah, he's our quarterback, uh, but we're moving on from him. Yeah, Paul. That's exactly the fear that the Bears will do the same exact thing by having a coach for Fields and then dumping that coach. Hopefully they don't do the same with uh, Caleb Williams. Yeah. But by all accounts, Caleb Williams is, uh, you know, generational talent. Okay. Well, then you know, surround him with talent. Or do your best to give him some complimentary weapons there. I mean, it's not a deep philosophy here. Just It's common sense. Why am I taking him if I'm not going to try to accentuate what he does and make him great? Must-see TV. you got to come out. The Bears are different. You know? We're in a, in, a, in a competitive division here. You know, we can challenge for a playoff spot. Yes, Eden. Was that not the plan with Justin Fields? Well... They didn't do a good job of their offensive line. And they didn't have weapons for him. They had a good tight end, but I don't think that they were... I don't think they did a great job in surrounding him with quality talent. But they have gone out and they improved their offensive line, at least by, you know, the analyst's take on this. And they've got some weapons there. So it it may turn out to be the same thing as it was for Justin Fields. I just think Caleb Williams is a better NFL quarterback than Justin Fields. 
Yeah, pulling. Yeah, in the middle of Fields' run with the Bears, the new GM came in and had a fire sale. They basically let Roquan Smith go and other people go. They did a rebuild in the middle of a rookie contract with a quarterback with Fields. Mm-hmm. Well, you got to take advantage of his rookie contract. Now you're going to find out in the next two years what the bear, what direction they're going in. Next three years, and maybe is Caleb Williams the right guy? Now maybe you know you're able to get another receiver in the draft. I always like you can't have enough quality receivers, and there's so many receivers in this draft. You're going to have three or four that go in the first probably 15 to 20 picks. And I mean, there's talent out there. You can get them. And like Kansas City, I'd draft a wide receiver. At the end of the first round, I'd draft a wide receiver from them. Because the defense carried you last year to win the Super Bowl. Now, get another receiver in there. Maybe get another tight end in there. Yes, Marv. Will Caleb Williams be a big story once the NFL season actually starts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Because it's a major market. You know, Bryce Young wasn't... Like, we watched, but we knew that the team wasn't good. Chicago won seven games. This has been a big, big storyline. You moved on from Justin Fields. You got a coach who's on the hot seat. Yeah, I think so. You're in a division where the Lions probably should have gone to the NFC title game, uh, gone to the Super Bowl maybe. Um, Jordan Love. Jordan Love is a top 10 MVP candidate this year with Green Bay. Green Bay, I thought, did really well in the offseason. Uh, the Vikings, you know, they get Drake May or J.J. McCarthy. Still got some good receivers. So I think, you, you know, it's going to be a big deal because it's the Bears and we want to see, is he worth it? And you want to keep an eye on Jaden Daniels. It feels like there's always two quarterbacks and they're, they're compared the rest of their careers. It's like, thankfully, there wasn't another defensive lineman taken before Aaron Donald in that draft. Could you imagine Aaron Donald's first ballot Hall of Famer? You imagine being that defensive lineman who was taken before Aaron Donald. Uh, You have these two quarterbacks in Jaden Daniels and Caleb Williams, and they're going to be connected. I think Justin Fields moving forward, how he plays could be connected with the Bears and Caleb Williams. So, yeah, I do think it's a big storyline. And uh, it'll it'll be interesting to see if Caleb Williams starts right away, you know, that was another thing. I didn't think Bryce Young should have started right away in Carolina. But when the draft happened, and I remember Sal Palantonio saying they're going to take Bryce Young, and he's the starter from day one. Sal's told that, that they're starting him from day one. And I went, how about we just see? No? Oh, I remember the reports. Oh, man, he's taking control. He's a leader. Okay. Can he play? I mean, he's taking control and he's a leader. Can you play on Sundays? Are they going to help you? And I thought Carolina, you know, that was malpractice too. We're taking you and we're not going to have weapons for you. But good luck. And they were one of the worst teams in the NFL. Hopefully, hopefully the Bears have learned from what they did or didn't do for Justin Fields. 